according to the double slit experiment, particles are said to be in a state of superposition, which means that particles exist in multiple different locations and in different states at the same time, unless there is an observer, which is when the particles organize themselves into a particular state and a location, because the superposition gets broken through observation. Also, as far as the observer effect is concerned, when an observer is observing a quantum system, there tends to be like a really strange entanglement that occurs between the observer and whatever it is that the observer is observing because the result is directly dependent on the state of the observation. This is particularly true in experiments that are conducted in a controlled system. Also, there are certain physicists who have postulated the theory or the idea that in the absence of an observer, reality as we know it would have to collapse as far as even our observable universe or the entire cosmos is concerned. While fundamentally or even theoretically this might sound like a proposition which is based on physics, philosophically one might say that it has some solipsistic elements which is very conspicuous in the way we're going about this theory. If that's really the case, then we'll have to understand how big of a role an observer is creating in this quantum system and what does an observer really mean because in a way it seems as though all of us are equally responsible and entangled with each other and co-creating this experience based off of our observation. But uh, is that the most plausible argument? Because I don't think that we are the only ones who are responsible for co-creating this reality to a level where we're literally co-observing each other into existence. And by each other, I mean all the variables that are interacting in this system, be it human beings, animals, plants, trees, everything. If the theory of superposition actually holds true at a much more wider level as opposed to just a lab experiment, then we have to consider the fact that even for particles, to break that level of superposition to assume this form, or for even a rock or a tree or a bird or an animal or a plant to have that form, there has to be an observer outside of us. This means that for us to even accept the reality that we are in this body right now or all these other variables are in their designated individuated bodies particles that could have actually been anywhere in the cosmos or in multiple different places at the same time or in different states in its state of superposition couldn't be such because it had to be in our bodies so that means their superposition should have been broken through an observation that happened outside of ourselves. So in that case, what really is it that is observing us into existence, especially from a state of non-existence? So that's the idea that I wanted to share through this video today because it seems fascinating to me to entertain the idea that there could be an entity outside of all of us that is literally observing us into existence or else we wouldn't be having this body in a particular state, in a particular location right now. In that case, how did that entity come into being? Or in other words, how did the first ever observer of this cosmos manifest into physicality, especially from a state of non-existence or a state of superposition? Uh, if you have any insights regarding this topic, then you're free to open the floor for conversation in the comment section below and you'll see me again in my next video.